What's up? I am Wayne Barron. This is Dark Effect Studios, and we are inside of Dreamweaver, and we're working with a project of which was a question asked. We got a question from real life, and he asked how to prevent inserting duplicate email IDs in SQL database for using an ASP Classic and give alert email already exists. So this is really simple to do. First thing we got to do is that we want to make sure that we're going to keep the person on the same page. We do not want them to jump around to different pages. So we want to keep them on the same page. So this right here is our AJAX. And we're going to use this right here to submit our form and keep it on the same page. And what it's going to do is it's going to take this result div ID right here. And it's going to refresh it. And it's not going to submit the page onto another page. And our process.asp page, this right here is where we're going to put all of our information for checking to see if the email address exists or not. If it does not, we're going to insert it into the database. And the acn.asp, what we got here is that we've got our username or password, our server, and our instance, and our database name. So we got our username, which is sitting right here for our test user, and our test password right here. We've got our server name, which is Cars Crisis, and then we've got our instance name, which is Cars 2005, even though this is a 2016 SQL Server that I'm working with. I am keeping this as 2005 because that is what everything is written as. And then our database is TestDB, which is going to be right here. And so we're going to add that acn.asp. It's going to be included into this file right here, our process. And then we're going to run it from our email. We're just going to simply send email over. You can add in all the information that you want to add in here. Then we're going to submit our form. Then we're going to run this jQuery right here. All this information is going to be downloadable in a link in the description below. So we're going to come over here to our processes page. So what we're going to do first is that we want to check to see if our uh, email form has information in it. So we want to do a request dot form and we're going to do email. We're going to do a response dot write. I'm going to do check email. So what this is going to do is that this is going to make sure that our email has something in it. So we're going to come over here and we're going to load the page. Okay, so what we're going to do now is that we're simply just going to choose an email address and it's going to automatically show that that email address did populate from our form field. So that means that it's working. So now what we're going to do is that we are going to add in all of our information for checking to make sure that that information does exist. So we've got to come over here and we need to check for our our database to make sure that it is going to have that information in it or not have it in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a select email from emails. Okay, now we're going to come over here and we're going to add in our email. And then this right here is going to be our 200 and then one. And then we're going to come right here, we're going to do check email. So let's add a 50 right here. So this right here means add a var character. This right here is add parameter. And this right here is the number of characters within your database field of email. So what we're going to do is that we're going to check or we're going to challenge our check email coming from our form is going to challenge the email here to make sure that it does exist inside the database. If it does, it's going to say if rs email dot in a file then and this right here is where we want to come over and we want to add in our our insert statement so right here we're going to do an insert into emails and then we're going to do email values question mark okay now the same thing that we did up here just going to copy this and just paste that there. So we're going to use the same information on this one. If it does not exist, which that is what the end of file means, it means that we're at the end of the database and that we did not find any information, so we're going to insert it. So then we're going to come over here, we're going to do a response dot write. I've got all this information actually written out, so I don't have to write it out again. So we're going to do a response dot write email address check email added successfully. So that means it's going to take this email address and it's going to add it right here and it's going to say that add it successfully. Else we're going to write out this. And it's going to say the email address you provided already exists in our database. Please log into your account. 
If you cannot remember your password, please use the password reset form. So you need to add in a reset form so that your user can actually reset their password just in case they forget it. So then we're going to save this information. And this is all that we need. We're going to first we're going to challenge to make sure that the email address exists or does not exist. If it does not exist, then we're going to insert it into our database. If it does exist, then we're going to let the person know that it does exist and that they need to reset their password or log in. And then we're going to, we should be able to get information here. So let's go ahead and do this one. So email address promo at darkeffects.net added successfully. And if we do it again, then it's going to give this alert right here. And there we go. The email address you provided already exists in our database. Please log into your account. So it doesn't matter how many times that you do it, it is not going to add it in because it's already there. And so that is pretty much all there is to checking to make sure that your database has the information or does not have the information. So the only thing that you want to do is that you want to always check for your end of file. End of file means that it's at the end. There's no information. We insert it. If there is information, then in most cases you would want to update it or you want to go over to the next section. Okay, I am Wayne Barron. This is Darkflake Studios. Thank you, real life, for your question. And uh, hopefully you are a subscriber because this is the last question that I will be answering when it comes to any type of web or database or server work on this channel. Everything else is going to be done through my Patreon account. And then you'll be able to find that information for that in the description below. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.